we go, we've got a test tube with the water in, and we're going to add to it phenylamine. And we're adding three centimeters cubed of phenylamine to the water. Smooth. All right. Okay. So how much was that that's gone in? That was one. One. Water and phenolamine has been added, not mixing, so we've got two immiscible liquids there. Excellent, so that's our phenolamine in, and our next step we need to add is a hydrochloric acid. So it's the HCl going to go in now, so we're going to add eight centimeters cubed of concentrated hydrochloric acid to this. Uh, it will get We've got it steaming. Yeah. This is like proper chemistry. There we go. So how much is that that we've added? Eight. We've added exactly eight centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. So we're now going to make sure that that's dissolved nicely and cool it down. So here we go. There's our phenylamine with the eight concentrated HCl and water being added expertly into an ice bath. Yay! There we go. And we will cool that down to make sure it is around five degrees C. Okay, yep, so we've got the sodium nitrite that we're gonna now add in very nice into our boiling tube. We've got to make that into a solution as well. Nicely done, okay. And then here we go with the water being added in. And we also need, so if we can have a look at the bottom of our oh, nice. So if we can also dissolve, uh, dissolve that and then cool that down to below 10 degrees as well. So there we go, we have got our two solutions cooling down to below 10 degrees C before we're gonna add them together. It's now time to combine the two solutions together. So we will do that. We're gonna add the, uh, looks like the sodium nitrite into the benzene diazonium to make the biobenzene diazonium chloride. Okay, oh, excellent. Yeah, we'll warm up. Let's get that baby back in the ice. Cool. Okay, you can see it's starting to buzz, uh, bubble a little bit, yeah. so we need to cool that down. Next stage, we are adding some sodium hydroxide into our boiling tube, and then we're going to add in a few crystals of our phenol substitute, because we're not allowed to use phenol. But we're going to pretend it's me. That's fine. Okay, get that in. Excellent. And if I can, oh, nice. Okay, give it a bit of a shake, and we're going to get that to dissolve nicely. Perfect. Now I'm going to add. Oh, steady, guys. Oh, can you see how it's fizzing? Oh, it's fizzing like mad. Okay, let's get that baby into the phenol substitute. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's have a look. Let's bring it out and see. Okay. Oh, looking nice. Give it a shake. Uh, yeah, and hopefully we've got a dye. It's our final dye. Um, a nice orange precipitate has been produced um, by uh, reacting our phenol substitute with our diazonium salt. It's a really good example of what happens. Uh, when you let things get too hot in this and uh, it goes a little bit gross, basically. 